My name's Charles, and I've been at EBCC for a long time. I started going here um, not my sophomore year, year in high school, but 11th grade in high school for running start. And uh, I got most of my journal classes out of the way, so I, di I did that first. And after that, I went through the photo program. And ever since then, I've been working at, well, basically next door in the equipment room, checking stuff in and out. And um, yeah, just working that whole deal under Fred. I don't know, honestly, I think feminine is like the first one that comes to mind. Cause yeah, I definitely look like an attractive female. I guess if you're walking around and you just see someone who just is really stylish, I mean, I, just little anecdotal things like that, I think have affected me more than anything. Just someone who I have no idea who they are, who just dresses really cool. And um, I just like to wear stuff that differentiates myself a little bit. I don't, um, I don't really like following trends. So I guess you can kind of call it that, like anti-trendy. I don't know, I really try to avoid like popular stuff that people are wearing. Anytime I come across something that I don't see someone wear very often or just something that's really strange or loud, um, that kind of interests me. Even if it's like really ugly, I'll still like consider stuff that's like, um, like all these weird colors and crazy patterns and stuff just because I've never really seen a whole lot of people wear those. And for whatever reason, that's the stuff I gravitate towards. There's actually this little boutique in Snohomish where I've bought a couple jackets. It's called Blondie's. It's this teeny tiny little shop on the corner of that main street where they have all those antique shops and various things. Um, they only sell women's clothes, but um, you know, usually women's jackets fit me pretty well. So <laughs> I tend to look for those instead of, uh, instead of guys' jackets because they're usually cut pretty wide and they don't fit me very well. I don't know, it just kind of morphed into this. Just kind of, uh, evolved one little step at a time, but um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't always used to dress like this. This is, um, you know, probably within the last two, three years maybe. I'm, I'm a pretty introverted person. I, I'm not super outspoken, so as far as, um, you know, asserting myself in conversations or standing apart from what I say, I like getting in depth and philosophical when it comes to certain things, but you know, usually I'm pretty standoffish, so I think dressing the way that I dress kind of compensates for that, whether it's a conscious decision or not. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely something to draw attention to myself, whether I, I like to admit that or not, but um, I don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty harmless and it um you know, it gives me a lot of confidence to, uh, to dress like this and to, you know, look a little bit different on the outside from everybody else. I just, uh, I don't know, that comforts me for some reason. I've, I've never answered questions like this before. I think this is the first time where I've, like, had an in-depth conversation of why I dress like I dress. <laughs>